Hello, my name is Chris. I am an aspiring DJ, um, up and coming. I want to talk to you a little bit about um, what it's like and what it takes to be a DJ these days. On most days, um, I download music from websites and I uh, and and I mix them. <laughs> Very time consuming. This is my boy, DJ Juan Beats. How's it going? It's a long time investment. Make sure you have deep pockets. Deep pockets, huh? Deep pockets. Why? Well, how much does a track cost these days? Well, now because it's all digital, you're looking at 149 to 299. But back then, when it was all vinyl, you're spending anywhere between eight dollars to fifteen dollars. Per you know, you got to buy all the equipment yourself, and it can run up, it can run in thousands of dollars. Just what kind of equipment do people need uh, to be a DJ to get started? Well, what what's the basics? Your basics is a mixer, CDJ. These play CDs, right? Correct. Okay. All right. And obviously, you need speaker. a speaker. So those are the main things you need uh, to get yourself going. That's correct. Also, you need a laptop or a computer. Or a computer, correct. DJing uh, professionally, um, it's not easy. Um, it takes a lot of work. How to beat match 101? Yeah, beat matching. All right, well the skill takes a while to learn, but technically what you're actually trying to do is from your headphones, trying to listen for the beat simply on the second CDJ. This is number one, this, this is, is number, number two. two. And as the beat's going, as you can hear, there's beat. Which one's playing right now? CDJ number one. Okay, this is playing on the speakers. So on CDJ number one, and on CDJ number two, what you're going to be hearing in your headphones is this. That's the track. So what you're going to be listening for is when the beat drops on CDJ number one, you're going to try to beat, beat match it by hitting the cue button and follow the beat with the fingertips. By you doing that, you're following the tempo of the track. Then at the time, you hit play, and while you're listening to it, listen to see if the beat are sequenced together at the same time. Then if so, you slowly bring it in little by little, and what would happen is bringing it in, these are called your EQs, your bass, mids, and highs. And simply what it does, it cuts the bass off, brings the bass in, your mids, those are your lows, going into your high mids, your highs, going to really high. And that's pretty much your simple basics of knowing how to use a mixer, when you try to make the jump over from being a hobby to wanting to do it professionally um, you enter into a whole new world um, DJing uh, professionally um, it's not easy um, it takes a lot of work. You definitely have to have the skill, but also what a lot of people don't know is that you have to pretty much know somebody um, to help um, get you on, to help you know put you at a, at a position where you can play at the nightclub, which most uh, DJs um, uh, shoot for. <laughs> Hell oh, yes. Oh, so that's why you got your video camera. Oh, you go. Oh, you came to work, huh? <laughs> um. Yo, get him up.
mentality of club owners and promoters is, is, is basically they're about money. It's a business that they're running, you know? You have to get out there and, and promote yourself. You have to go out there and be social. Um, you can't just be at your house on the weekends thinking that you're going to get gigs if you don't go out there and do, and do the footwork. <laughs> business cards um, I've went ahead and made some business cards right there and promo CDs um, gotta make promo CDs so that people can hear what you have to play Thank you. 